Hey, what's up? It's Joey from Riftweaver, and I'm here again with another update for Tales of Fablecraft. And this week, we're actually going to take the wrapping off the curtain down from our early access development roadmap. Before we get there, we have a couple bits of, of news to share. And of course, we want to remind folks of the early access release date that we were announced with this fancy trailer. Uh, you can actually see this trailer in the description below. I'll make sure it's linked. We are coming out on July 23rd. 2024 so that is in like two or one week's time wow excuse me that's one week from <laughs> one week from now uh we're celebrating with this musical trailer that we put together you obviously can't hear the music right now i highly suggest you watch this if you haven't yet it's very cool we had a lot of fun putting it together and we're looking forward to uh doing a lot more of these types of things down the line as we celebrate large releases but as for this week, so the team, a little bit of housekeeping, the team right now as you're watching this video is together. We are in New York City, we're hanging out, we're making sure that we get some team bonding in place before the actual release happens. We're doing some work this week, so we are not offline. Uh, we're in a workspace together. So if you do need something, of course, we'll be here, we'll be on Discord, we'll be wherever, but maybe a little slower to respond as we're doing some team activities, uh, but we'll be back right before release and we'll be ready to go on July 23rd as we push the big green button on Steam and launch the game out into the wilderness. The other thing that I want to make sure you folks know about, the demo and the closed beta are going offline on July 22nd. That's the Monday before release. Those will be done, dead, gone, dusted. If you have content that you've owned, whether it's dice and skin unlocks uh, from the demo or you're a Kickstarter backer that has extra adventures, that stuff is gonna travel with you, that's sticking with your account. What's not going to travel with you because we had to make some backend changes between those versions and the early access version are your characters and your campaign save states. So if, if you're a GM, if you're a player and you've got some characters or you've got some campaigns rolling, take a couple minutes, hop in, grab some screenshots before those, those clients go offline, before the demo state and the closed beta state go offline. And you'll only need to take a few minutes to recreate these characters um, and pick up where you left off in your campaigns once you actually get into the early access version. We're sorry about this, it was unavoidable. If we do have to do it again, it will happen only once, and that's as we transition from early access to our launch version. And we're not sure that we're gonna have to do this type of wipe again, but it, it's it's possible. If it does happen, as soon as we know that it's happening, we'll make sure to let you folks know that you so you have some time to grab screenshots again, take some notes, and ease it over to the new client. Okay, so let's take a look at the roadmap right now. So we're gonna start with this text. Uh, this roadmap can and will change based on your feedback and our team's priorities. We just want you to understand that this is sort of a living document here that we're going to scroll through. Um, you'll be able to see it on our Steam page at all times. We'll always keep it updated. Not only is it going to change as we add things and check them off, but it's going to change as you folks let us know what you love and don't love about Fablecraft and as our team's priorities kind of shift around in order to make Fablecraft a better game. Um, we, of course, have a vision here with this game and, and we value your feedback. And we'll be implementing as much as we can, but also we have a game that we're trying to make too. So this roadmap is kind of the, our vision and some of your feedback kind of set out in front of us. So we're going to scroll through here. You'll notice that stuff's marked by quarters. Um, so we're in Q3 2024. That started on July 1. I believe that runs till September 30th. And here you've got the early access launch. We've got some adventures coming this quarter, and I think that'll be on early access launch as well. The Road to the Starfall Festival, The House in the Manor, Murder on the Tipsy Pearl. If you played these in closed beta, uh, they've been updated and, and polished. Uh, quite a bit actually so these adventures are worth revisiting and of course the road to the starfall festival is now complete you can only play the first three sessions of that uh, we have some asset packs coming the brawler collection the storyteller collection uh, there's going to be some custom inventory work marketplace is launching with early access going to have homebrew support for music and soundscapes at launch battle maps that'll come later the friends of fable path program that's going to launch down the line, but it's essentially a way for creators and brick and mortar shops to get a custom code that will receive 30% of in-game purchases made by others. So if you want to support a local game shop, you'll be able to use their code and then they get 30% of whatever you spend on our marketplace. It's kind of our way of like supporting creators and those game shops that we love. There's consumables coming and more. Then late Q3 and Q4. So this is like when we think about late Q3, that's that's that September-ish window, uh, maybe spilling into early Q4. And of course, Q4 is October 1 to December 31st. That's when we're hitting iOS tablet, 
Android tablet. These may come staggered. Um, it's likely that they'll come staggered just because we want to support, make sure that we're bug free on one and then jump to the other and make sure we're bug free there. We have a secret one shot coming. Uh, which that's pretty exciting and then once upon a wildwood will launch in this window as well that's our next adventure uh, we're getting homebrew video for story scenes and battle maps the fable dice are getting enhancements there's safety tools coming in we're going to add some more world lore and lots more and then we're in 2025 and that's when the ios and android mobile will launch we're going to see high society uh, launching likely in early 2025 we're going to get multiplayer matchmaking that's something that we want to accomplish so that if you're here and you don't have a party that's cool. We'll be able to find you one. That's also when we're going to work on localization, get some font size customization. Easier said than done, by the way, font size customization. You change the font size and it can break the UI very fast. Uh, so we're going to try to make sure that that's doable for players that want to have a more easily read screen. We understand that that's an issue. We're working on it. Deeper world lore again and much more in 2025. This is the roadmap as we see it today. And now I'm going to hop back over to me on video form. One thing I didn't talk about was the detail that you're going to get through the roadmap as we move down through quarters, right, and into next year. So stuff that's very close to us in time right now, that obviously has more detail. We have more information to share about what's coming in Q3 because we're in Q3. Um, our plans get a little murkier down the line, and so we kind of have to keep things obscure because we're not sure how things are going to fit or if we're going to move things around. That's kind of up in the air. So as we move and we get the roadmap elements released and stuff gets into the game, we're going to probably be filling in more detail over time. So you can expect more detail about what's coming in Q4 2024 and of course more detail about what's coming in 2025. Um, we'll update the roadmap frequently. Not only will you see stuff checked off, but you'll see stuff added over time. Whenever it's updated, we'll let you know. We'll let you know in Discord, let you know on Steam, let you know here on YouTube. And of course, we'll be covering these, these roadmap items in more detail as we move through the weeks between releases, right? Great. That's the roadmap. What's included on release day? We get this question a lot. What, what's actually changing about Fablecraft from the demo to the early access release? What can you expect on early access launch day? Well, the free base game is going to include the following stuff, okay? The complete Road to the Starfall Festival adventure, updated and polished. All associated Road to the Starfall Festival assets for homebrew. The GM demo, the hero demo, the combat arena, new monsters for homebrew, new battle maps for homebrew, new environments for homebrew, new inventory items for homebrew, and homebrew player character portraits and environments, music, and soundscapes. All of that functionality is baked into the base free version of Fablecraft. The marketplace will also launch at release and the marketplace will offer a few things for sale. You get to be able to purchase the house in the manor, which of course has been updated and polished for your close beta players. You'll be able to purchase murder on the tipsy pearl, also updated and polished. You'll get several dice skins available for purchase and several player token skins. And we'll also be putting together those packs that we've mentioned in previous posts and videos that will make those things a little bit cheaper if you want to get like, you know, the Long Meadows dice and the Long Meadow player token skin. That stuff can be a little bit cheaper by being purchased. Uh, we talked about the pricing. I can link that blog post as well in the, in the description here. But we talked about the pricing for some of these things a few weeks back. I mean, you can just check that out to see how things are going to be priced. But that's what's available in the marketplace at launch, and that's the version of Fablecraft that will hit at early access. If it's not clear from the roadmap, we're going to be updating Fablecraft a lot, so stay with us. And that's it for this week's update. Thank you so much for hanging out. We're super excited about release. I cannot believe it's like a week away at this point. You can always see us on Discord as well. If you want to chat, that's discord.gg slash Fablecraft. And don't forget, we have a feedback site. We read all the feedback. We take it into consideration. We have that feedback meeting internally uh, once a month. But I am on the feedback board every day, so is our QA team kind of checking through and making stuff gets filtered in. And that's fablecraft.featureupvote.com. Thank you so much for hanging out again. I'll see you for launch. This is going to be exciting. Later.